Yeah. Sometimes when you have guys who are like third year starters, we've got four guys that have been on all conference team. And I think sometimes guys can see that those are the guys. Um, so even though it might be competitive, there isn't necessarily that, that mentality that I'm going to come in and take your spot. We've got 15 guys that can go out and play, and there ain't enough minutes for all 15. So there is some competitiveness in there, who gets on the floor and who gets to play with the kind of freedom, all of those kinds of things, is, is a little bit different here and now. So it's going to require some guys to, uh, you know, to, to really be patient and to keep working and and to take their time. Ultimately, you want you know when you're a mid-major program, you you want to you want to get better and have a chance to win the tournament at the end of the tournament. Like everybody wants that to be the the result. Um, you know, for us, we don't want to just get to the dance. But, but we we our goal is, is bigger than that. But you always want to become the best version of whatever you can become with this particular team and i don't know what that looks like but i feel good about what the capabilities are if some things fall our way if we're healthy if we don't have major injuries like i think the collection of players and the experience is good enough that we could be truly formidable um so uh I do think at our best, we could be really, really good and accomplish something special. And so each day, how do we become our best? And I think that's where your focus has to be. You know, I think coaches get ridiculed sometimes for talking about one day at a time or one game at a time. But there is a sort of a mentality that each day you do have to try to get better each day. And you can't lose sight of that, especially when you have some successes. This is a great place, and I'm hopeful, um, particularly for our seniors, because they won't get to play in the Convocation Center, that I do want this to be a special year for them in the sports arena. And I want them to take pride in the last year of the arena that, uh, that, they, that they have an opportunity to have a great run and do something special. And a part of that is, you know, the student body and the fans coming out and really, uh, supporting those guys in in the arena this year uh, because it is a great atmosphere and when it's rocking it's a special place you know it's uh, there's very few places like this around the country where you have a really good program and, and a, sort of a, a, a smaller uh, facility like this that can really get loud and, uh, and be a great atmosphere and I think you know I don't know if there's a year that stands out where you could say this was the best year in the sports arena in terms of crowd intensity and passion. But I hope this year is just that. I'm hoping that uh, people understand that this is a special place. This is the last year that we're going to be in there and that people really turn out and, and show up and uh, make it something special.